Welcome back to Road Race Retro. Hello everybody and sorry for the delay but once again welcome back to the channel and this one is to pick up with the P1 rebuild. Um, I'd like to see a lot has been going on, it has to a certain extent, we've just found it very very difficult for time, I mean the work's been very busy, the car sales, the prep work, obviously Dave's been busy with prep, I've been busy buying and selling and as a group it's been difficult to get time but Nevertheless, we have managed to do a little bit of work here and there with the P1 restoration project, or the rebuild if you like. And I just want to do a little video today to kind of update you on what's been happening. As you can see, obviously it's in the background, still on the spit. Um, although it actually looks at the moment like not a lot has changed with these kind of projects, it doesn't really look that way until you start and dig and get right into it. So what I'll do is I will walk you around the car itself and I'll gently just point out bits that we've done um, stuff that's currently underway, but um, believe it or not, with regards to how it looks at the minute, um, it is flying on, and obviously having a big crack with Dave this morning, we reckon that if Dave was to put another couple of hours in, and everything was to go right with pushing the bushes in, which has been a pain in the arse at the moment, that we could probably have the car rolling um, in less than probably a couple of hours, so we are getting there, but I'll flip round, obviously the main point of the video today is to show you exactly where we're at with the car, so here she is. So that's how it sits at the moment. As you can see, obviously we've had our repair work done. Um, this has been over to our fabricator. He's basically had the bare shell over there and he has gone through it. Every little area for concern, everything he wasn't happy with, he's just basically redone it. We asked him not to cut any corners to make sure everything was right, 100% above board. If it didn't look right, make it look right. So that's where we were with it. So obviously a little repair in where the rear arch guides are which again, if you've had Subarus, you know the rear arches on these are absolutely terrible. This one, as you can see from the previous videos, wasn't too bad, but it still needed that little bit of work here and there. Obviously a little bit down by the sill there, as you can see, um, along the sill line now, if you look at the lines of the sill, that's absolutely awesome, very, very straight, very nice and tidy, and it's all looking good. Um, Dave has been on and repainted the shockers, so they've all been done. We've had the springs professionally powder coated as well. Again, we've kept all of the original bits, which was the main purpose of this build, was to keep this car as close to original as it will possibly be. So as you can see inside the arches, we've done some nice sealant work in there as well. But we haven't gone too mad because we didn't want to lose the original detail. This car was so good in terms of its original features, we just basically kind of want to enhance those and make them a little bit better and kind of future-proof it. Obviously front end. There's the front shutters in, the powder coat springs, I'll show you. Obviously, lovely job as well. This inside all the front arches again. Obviously, this is to future-proof it and kind of protect the car, but we've still kept the original detail. So what we haven't done is we haven't gone like a lot of people and we haven't clagged it with underseal to lose the originality. We've just wanted to protect it and kind of keep it good for years to come, if you like. So inside, obviously, as you can see, we've got the front engine cradle there. That's all being powder coated professionally, and as you can see, the finish on that as well um, is beautiful. It's a very, very nice job. Um, a shout out to mate, who's our powder coater? Impressive refinishing down at Darlington. This guy is very, very good. His work's exceptional, and most importantly for us, prices are very, very good as well. So I'll walk you around the passenger side. Um, as you can see, we're just done with a few little bits. The rear cradle's obviously getting put together now as well, so we can bolt that back in. Uh, steering rack. And as you can see, we've got a lovely little assembly of fully powder coated parts. All of these here are going to have brand new bushes in as well. Um, this thing underneath, when it's done, is, is going to be a work of art. Dave wants to drive the car, but I personally think it might be too good to use on the road, but everybody's different. Uh, just walking through the shot on the other side again it paints exactly the same picture as the other side but again we've been right through this car if you look at the lines of sills now this angle is a little bit better because you will get a view of the floor as well and we'll spin it round and we'll show you exactly what it's like let me flip our update in there so as you can see that's the underside and if you look at the quality of that like i said you'd be previously on the video we've kind of kept the original features of the floor so it isn't clad with under seal i would say it's got a dusting rather than a heavy coating and as you can see the lines of all the floor will go right through at the back but if you look at those sill lines obviously that's the um, driver's sill line in the front i'm getting close um the work there's fantastic round at the back let's go past you Dave. 
again I'll just go in close you can see we've still kept all of the original detail as best we can Cheers, mate. Um, and obviously there's a the line of that still as well. Um, obviously inside, you know, there's not that much to show you in here. But this was just a kind of a brief update. Now, hopefully, the next part of the video, we should be able to show you the car actually rolling. Um, so like I said, a lot of work goes on in the background. I'll just flip this around now. A lot of work from Dave obviously goes on in the background and it's difficult doing a build like this when it's your own obviously when we've got work ahead of it so it's just nicking a few hours here there um, and everywhere a few late nights to get it sorted and that brings us to this point so I'm going to keep the updates of this one rolling thick and fast so as the weeks go by we're going to look to do as much as possible with it and then we'll get it rolling we'll roll it out we'll show you it in the light um, and we should be getting there with it now but I'll not make the video too long this was just like a, a little update what we want to do with the um, P1 obviously Dave's not quite sure what his aim is with this car yet as in is he going to keep it and go to some shows is he just going to finish it and sell it I don't know but if somebody eventually does own this car which I'm sure they will down the line it's always nice to have this to refer back to know that everything's being done properly and it's peace of mind for the new owner and obviously hopefully with these cars they are an investment videos like this should build a bit of value into the actual car itself so again, so what else has been going on um, at triple R well obviously with Dave having a project uh, I've been looking to buy something for quite a while and I think you saw in the previous video that I bought a Sierra Sapphire Cosworth which to me is my childhood affordable pinup car the working man supercar they called them back in the days I said in the other video um, I had a good start with the Cosworth but it's sharp turned sour to be honest I basically bought it off a guy and um, he came recommended from a good friend of mine uh, he'd had the car for a lot of years it was 60,000 miles four owners yada 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 uh, when I put the car up on the ramp the underside wasn't as good as I would promised now I've just took it on the chain at the end of the day it's second hand cars listen they're not all going to be perfect and not everybody you buy cars from is going to be honest um, I should have maybe been a little bit more wiser I've been doing this a long time but with this guy coming recommended people telling me the car was amazing I just kind of jumped on it the price was right and bought it but when I got under the actual car itself I wasn't best pleased so since the last video of the Cosworth I've basically been picking parts up from a company called Sierra's or Us to do not a rebuild because I didn't need that but there was like loads of bushes underneath needed sorting out there was some belts need renewing um, there was a little bit of work needed, it needed a new fuel tank because the fuel tank was leaking. Just loads of little tidbits, the alternator was loose, the power steering pump was loose, the reservoir was loose. And a friend of mine just basically went over it and not condemned it but explained to me that it needed a lot of love. So I'll take you down now and obviously I'll give you a little talk around the Saffin, what we've kind of been doing with that as well. While I'm on walking down through the yard I'll show you some nice old BMs that we sold to a friend of ours. So there they are nice little bit of content an E34 on a lovely set of splits I'm not sure what splits they are but they're beautiful and obviously from the channel in the early days is the lovely pimpin E38 728i as you can see slightly dusty but nevertheless still lovely cars and I'll just uh, flip the camera around and I'll show you the fact now I'll keep it there and I'll show you the SAF because we're just walking around to it there now so it's around here at a friend's garage um, he's basically Cosworth mad and owns an absolutely beautiful one himself so there's mine at the moment an extra dilapidated Corrado that's definitely seen better days needs some love but there's mine anyway at the moment so um, what have we been doing with this um, obviously we've put a new set of plugs in there as well this reservoir tank itself was all loose and hanging so we've changed that um, we've put new jubilee clips on there as well to secure that we're going to replace all of the front belts um, we weren't really happy with those those are perished now this pipe here you can't see it two seconds is basically being rubbing on that pulley and nearly wore this pipe through so that was an accident where it happened so we replaced that as well um, what else have we done oh wheels I forgot about them so we've changed the wheels as well now obviously previously I had Comp Motive 
um, TH2s, which I showed you. Put the 18s on the car, and it rode like a bag of shit. It killed the ride quality. So basically, what we've done is we've then sold them ones on, and we've got a beautiful set of RL7s on there as well. Um, so the work that mine's been for is like fabrication work. I just wanted everything underneath straightening out and done right. So as you can see, it hasn't got the sill covers on there at the moment. Um, they're getting done. I think it's open the car. So yeah, so we're getting new sill covers. And um, we're going to sort them out. Now, obviously at the back of the car as well. I'll just show the RL7s from the back. And this needed obviously sorting. So obviously this car, when it was tuned previously was um was running rich so the exhaust itself over time for whatever reason it snapped around where the welds were and the exhaust was actually sitting was sitting kind of up against this and that's why we've burned through the bumper so we've had the exhaust welded fixed now as you can see she sits pretty much perfect there now but it has damaged the bumper so we need to get this painted and sorted out but as you can see obviously the car is unbelievably level up and down both sides but then again it should be with 60,000 miles and I just wanted to obviously put that into the video because this one is is definitely worth a look. And to be fair, it's going to be beautiful once it's sorted out. As you can see, I'll just try and get in close. So obviously in the arches, I've had loads of work done in there. As you can see, it's mint under there now as well. I basically, I'll just, I basically went over to my guy who does all the fab work and just not an open checkbook, but just said go through the car with a fine tooth comb. Anything that looked wrong or he thought that needed attention was just to get him to do it to make the car right i only want to do things once but i'd like to do them right and obviously because with we all know the way i work eventually somewhere down the line i probably will sell it but i wouldn't sell it to somebody unless it was 100 percent correct so at least by doing things this way the car will be as good as i want it to be and obviously the next owner i'm sure will be happy somewhere along the line as well um but that's where we're at at the moment uh with project work we need to do more content of like what goes on daily here which i'm trying to get my head round about video and everything every day it just feels a little bit out of sorts for me but we are going to get to that um but that's just how the projects are going at the moment the p1's definitely getting on i think the sapphire cosworth is probably going to be on the road and we'll get some videos some rolling shots and some moving shots and i have actually a really good friend group of friends who have a lot of these Cosworths, um, X90s hooligans to be honest, and they drive their cars properly so the footage should be quite exciting. I will get a little run out with the guys and get that put on a video as well. Um, but again, thanks for staying tuned, just an update on what's currently going on at the moment. Uh, don't forget to click the bell icon, like, subscribe to the channel, and then obviously you'll get all the updates. But uh, thanks for staying tuned to Triple R and I'll see you all shortly.